Are your boss noodles taking longer than 30 minutes? Are they taking longer than 20 minutes? Well, in today's video, we're going to go through all the ways that you can make your boss meals faster. The faster you can finish your boss meals, the faster you can get back on your main and start farming your 12 WAPs a day. Now, first things first, let's just talk about the biggest things that are going to make your bossing meals faster, and that is going to be buffs. Use buffs. Use your buffs. I don't know why people want to cheap out on on using buffs on their boss moves get green pot and red pot which can be obtained from monster park get an ied potion those can be obtained from boss drops or cra boss shops get a guild buff which can be obtained from the white light bulb you get 30 of these every single week use a legion might which can be obtained from the legion coin shop for 20 coins just get the 20 minute one and finally guild skills use all of these buffs they all add up and make your boss meals significantly faster now this brings me to my next point join a guild not only are you going to get passive buffs but you are also going to get guild skills now these guild skills and passive buffs are going to make your boss meals so much faster and one tip with your guild skills do not use all of them make sure you are cycling your g skills every single week so one week you're going to use your crit damage guild skills and then the next Next week you're going to use the damage guild skill this is going to ensure that you are going to at least have one guild skill up every single time you do your boss meal nothing sucks more than logging on and having absolutely no guild skills for the week so once again make sure you are cycling these g skills now you're probably wondering how do you even join a guild on a mule since you really only play this thing once a week well there are tons of mule guilds just type in a mule when searching for a guild and you can scroll through and try to to find one that works for you now some guild skills are going to require you to do culvert every week some aren't just apply and see if you are accepted next on the list get familiars for your boss mules i'm talking 40 percent get one or two 15 percent ied fams ied is going to help out your bossing significantly try to get at least 92 percent ied on your bossing mule other sources of ied can come from link skills legion your WSC, but try to at least get 92% IED minimum. And obviously, a way to guarantee that is by getting one or two IED fams. You can get these 15% IED fams from either the gray or blue familiar cards. If you have any laying around, just throw them on mules and see if you get lucky. It might not seem like a lot, but these 15% IED fams actually help out a ton in bosses like Vellum, Lotus, Damien, and Magnus. Now, moving on, do your bosses in in order well your skills are on cooldown now what do i mean by that if you go in damien you're obviously going to burst out now don't just go straight to lotus and wait for your burst and bind to be up go and kill an easier boss while you wait for your burst like cygnus pink bean or pierre waiting for burst is going to make your bossing mules so much slower just add in filler bosses while you wait for your bind and burst to come back moving on to this hit in tech that not a lot of people know about this is going to involve pierre now how many times have you been in pierre and you constantly are getting the same hat when pierre transforms it is the most annoying thing when you get a blue hat and then pierre also has a blue hat or you have a red hat and pierre has a red hat well there is a way to negate this boss mechanic every single class is going to have a skill called hero's will this skill makes you immune to abnormal status effects for three seconds after use so what i like to do is i'll get pierre down to 75 percent hp i will use hero's will and then attack it down to 70 percent when it hits 70 percent that is when pierre will switch hats but since you use hero's will you will negate that abnormal status effect and can kill pierre freely without having to worry about the rng there's been times where i've been in pierre for five to ten minutes so this is going to make that boss fight so much quicker now last on the list it's something easy but make sure you have a hundred percent crit rate i know it's really hard for some classes but 
do whatever you can to get 100% crit rate. Trying to get it on your inner ability, on your hyper stats, your legion, link skills, whatever you can, try and get 100% crit rate. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope this helped make your boss clears faster. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!